as this is a very urgent, uh, impo very important matter, and I know that uh, there were other members who had uh, attempted to make statements to that uh, effect. I now call upon the Honorable Butri Zalachi, member for Dagoretti, no, to weigh in on this thing. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, I rise on Standing Order 84 to make it a personal statement, but also for the women of Kericho, and I want to thank uh, the women rep of Kericho. But Madam Speaker, let me just read my statement after looking at what happened on BBC yesterday night. Dear Honorable Members, Today is a very difficult day for me as a woman, a leader, and a citizen of Kenya. Today I have been reminded that slavery still exists in this nation. Today I stand dejected because this slavery has been going on under our nose as leaders because I cannot explain how a man has violated women in tea plantations for 30 years and nothing has been done. Today, my fellow members, the tea you drank this morning is lust with blood. Blood of women who have been raped on the same soil that they work tirelessly to fend for their children. Land that up to today cannot be explained how multinationals acquired in the guise of investment works with flowery policies as generations of women get raped one after another, year after a year, and everyone around them turns a blind, blind eye. Some of us are very incapable, Madam Speaker, of turning a blind eye to such atrocities. And BBC last night aired a documentary that took them 18 months to investigate, to capture the voices of our mothers, sisters, and daughters in the hands of Jeremiah Koske, John Chebuchok, Samuel Yebe, and John Asava. The crime of rape in tea plantations is one that never stops. It is one that no one wants to stop. But I want to believe that this house will do everything within its powers to stop it today. This crime is one that is prosecutable under the Sexual Offenses Act, yet goes on and battered because no one wants to hold multinationals accountable. How else would we explain our silence 11 years after the Kenya National Human Rights Report on the same. The media has now chosen to highlight it, and I take it to the doorsteps of the Unilever and Finlay's. Our undoubtedly members has been exposed, and we cannot remain silent. If we do nothing, we will. And what will we tell the women of Kenya? Do we care? Do we value them? Are we so interested in profits that we turn a blind eye to such atrocities that can only be equated in modern days of slavery? Madam Speaker, I am asking today, who will give justice to these women who work in Unilever and Finlay's tea plantations? Who will give justice? I am asking this House to ensure the multinationals and not continue to sexual abuse our women on the same soil of our forefathers. It is an abomination and a curse on our land when the cries of our women are defended, defended by money in the name of investments. Lastly, Madam Speaker, first step today is Joseph Chibchok, Jeremiah Kosgay, Yebe, and John Asava to sleep in jail tonight. We call upon the seers. Then we can take the next step, Madam Speaker, that no woman is safe when they are still roaming around. Multinationals have to be accountable 
and normal flattery sexual harassment policies on paper and nothing tangible to show for it. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It is very sad for those women of Kericho who are now HIV positive, even their families and their children. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Lelachi. I now call upon just one more member, the Honorable Chef Kosgei Muge, member for Nandi County. Yes, Thank you, Honorable Speaker, for this opportunity to uh, give my comment on the said statement. Honorable Speaker, this morning uh, we woke up to uh, very sad news about what has been happening in Kericho in the multinationals, Honorable Speaker. Now, Honorable Speaker, I also come from a tea growing area where we have multinationals. And allow me to quote Honorable Speaker, a Kiswahili says that, uh, saying that says, Ukiona chamunziwe kikinyolewa chako kitie maji. Honorable Speaker, this is, not, uh, this is not an isolated case and it's not only happening in Kericho. It is actually happening everywhere and in every workplace in this country. Honorable Speaker, this is a matter that has not been given adequate attention. It is a matter that actually affected so many women and so many people in this country. It is a matter that is actually affecting people who are, who are trying to fend for their families, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, if you look at the details of the happenings uh, that, that happened in Kericho as they were exposed, they are extremely serious, Honorable Speaker, and they are actually horrific, so to speak. They do not have a place in this country, Honorable Speaker, and they do not have a place anywhere. Honorable Speaker, as you can see, and as uh, the expose went, you can see that this is actually an endem endemic issue that deserves urgent attention, Honorable Speaker. It, uh, it deserves adequate and urgent attention from all stakeholders for justice to be served and for the perpetrators to be held accountable, Honorable Speaker, and for them to be used as an example, Honorable Speaker. I can only say one thing about the perpetrators. Actually, Honorable Speaker, these are perverts. We do not deserve any uh, leadership position. They do not deserve any hearing in this country or anywhere else. They should just pay for the heinous crimes and acts they have committed. Honorable Speaker, I want to tell the workers of the multinationals in Kiri and in this country at large, Honorable Speaker, where these things are happening, that the women and the members of parliament in this uh, parliament, Honorable Speaker, will stand with them and we will ensure that justice is served adequately and they are all brought to book and they are used as perfect examples of anyone who would want to sexually exploit the women or even the, the men in this country, Honorable Speaker. So, Honorable Speaker, we want to also tell the multinationals that we want to see things happening not things on paper in regards to sexual abuse and harassment in works of place in our places of work honorable speaker so that we don't have good policies and paper but the actionability or the implementation of the said policies is zero honorable speaker we will be holding them accountable so that we have conducive working environments for our people who are trying to find for their families honorable speaker so honorable speaker as uh, the committee that has been committed we want to add them to give us a very comprehensive report for us to be able to use it first to be uh, 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 to serve justice and secondly honorable speaker as a stern warning to anyone who will ever try to do, to do such a thing honorable speaker i thank you thank you honorable member for nandi county honorable muge One moment, uh, this particular statement will be referred to the Departmental Committee on Labor and on the, the one for the Honorable Gidua Wamashukuru will be referred to the Departmental Committee on uh, Infrastructure, Transport and Roads. Um, and I think they will have two weeks to respond to it. Thank you. Next order. What's your point of order, 